isn't my neighbor, the Moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump. Uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. Bye, Yiminy. Ooh. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. <laughs> Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, and if they see all my food, they think I'm rich for sure. I love a good game of hide-and-seek. Hello. Can I help? I'm from the Internal Food Revenue Service. Internal Food Revenue Service? Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Ooh, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? <coughs> hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I have nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Little Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. <laughs> I knew it! Hard Sicilian salami. But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. Uh, no, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Ah, oh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. And that will leave you with... Prison food. No! Anything but that. 
<laughs> I confess. I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. That completes your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? But IRS, Mr. Walrus, it has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? That leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in. <laughs> You're letting all the heat out. You know how much it costs to heat this can? Look, unless you're paying the bill, keep the door closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it. You could poke an eye out with that thing. Hey Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. And now, a special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got the hook in a pole? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's cut rate bait, you can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Introduce you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog, and next, my genuine fish fly larva, and finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so's they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so's that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please! You raised us! You fed us! You taught us to do this! Don't give us the hook! Oh.
the sports page here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So, send me back, and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? You're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Another return? Oh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey guys, huddle up! Break! Only bait left is penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. We have returned! But what's wrong? Well, you fed us when we were little, so we can return the favor. Right, boys? Remember what you taught us? Watch this! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did get me. <laughs> Momentum, poor favor. Oh, yeah! Uh -huh. One free pizza coming up. <laughs> 
Pizzatorium. We deliver a delicious pizza pie in five minutes or your pizza is free! I want a pizza with everything on it delivered to this address. Got it. <laughs> Um, how mysterious. I'm out of sausage. You gotta get some to me fast. Meaty meat company. Here's your sausage, Mac. <laughs> oh, I'm so very late. around here about but I'm gonna deliver this pizza on time or I'm not <laughs> Dr. Denver Dooley pizza pie in the sky deliverologist My van, jetpack fuel, and of course, my tip. <laughs> no money? Well, then you'll work it off. Yep, guaranteed delivery in five minutes. No problemo. What the God? Hit the Skyway, Wood. Gee, Dooley, can I just have one slice of pizza for the road? Well, okay. But you gotta eat it raw, Smarty Feathers. <gasps> now deliverize that pie! I gotta remember to take them outside first. Just how I like my pizza. With a view. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games. Sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolates are burned by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm, what have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. Guard rule number one. Always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeah. Hmm. This here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. You pull over now so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. What style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> now I got you, you little ow! That smarts. <laughs> that smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin eyes. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dulap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> No gate crasher is going to be outsmarting me. Hmm, needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are! There ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me! What style? What a landing! That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Take the lead in the 100-mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. <laughs> You know, 
You don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. This here's what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. Mr. Wilson, your chart calls for plenty of rest, neck rubs, and three hot meals a day. Boy, oh boy, what a setup. Free food, a TV, and round the clock care. Hmm, suddenly I don't feel so well. Dr. Woody prescribes bed rest. Big meals and hours of TV. <laughs> oh, nurse. Oh, thanks for coming. I'm head nurse Meanie. Ah, uh, well, 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 my head's fine. I don't need a head nurse. I need the neck rub nurse from next door. Uh, uh, uh. Your chart says you to get lots of rest. I don't feel like resting anymore. Good. Then I'll just have to tire you out with some old-fashioned exercise. You know, nothing relaxes me before bedtime like weightlifting. <laughs> now you try. Oh, my. You should never lift weights when you're that sleepy. Uh, this isn't going like I planned. Your chart calls for big meals. Hot diggity dog. Bring on the cow, Nurse Frau. I made you extra large portions of today's special. Ta-da! Bran muffins, bran salad, and for dessert, a bran souffle. Yuck! I mean, yum, yum. Healthy food makes a healthy body. I'm gonna watch you eat every bite. Lucky me. <laughs> Mm. Oops, your chart fell. Hmm, I don't remember that statue. Must be a new interior decorator on this ward. Oh, and don't worry, there's lots more brand left over for dinner. Easy, big fella. I know we didn't eat, but we still got TV. The identity of the thief is none other than... What's the big idea? There's a sicker patient in room 302 who needs this TV. Sorry, but it's hospital policy. Oh, yeah? So I'm not sick enough, eh? We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, my! I'm so sick. Sicker than the guy with the TV. Oh. Well, you're covered in sweat. Oh, <gasps> and chicken pox. <laughs> you're burning up. A hot water bottle? 
Aha! So you've been faking! <laughs> what do you know? I'm cured. You'll answer to the hospital administrator for this! Code red, code blue, I'm out of here. Stop that. Woohoo! Coming through. Come back, you freeloader! Sleeping on the job, are we, head nurse? And find Nurse Meany, Doctor. She wants me to see her patient. Ha, ah, phooey. I gotta find a way to get past the head honcho. Bingo. Mm -hmm. The worst case of dizzy smack you silly-itis I've ever seen. Luckily, it's not serious. Pretty well. Yeah! Got ya, doctor. Cancel my appointments, nurse. This is my golf day. Come back to you, little milk crackers! Moocher! Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. You young folk, always in a hurry. Uh, 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 in my day, we respected our elders. Woodpecker. <laughs> 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 I made it. I'm out. Again, Woodpecker? I'll give you a free loader for me you'll never forget! Eh. <laughs> nice going, laughing boy. Oh no, it can't be! Look what I found, ma'am! Another chicken pox case. This could be very serious. You've done a fine job getting him here. But you look tired. Take the rest of the day off. Whoopee! Yeah! All right! <laughs> oh, I mean, th thank you, ma'am. Wow! Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> What have we here? A penguin behind enemy lines? Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my potbelly chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming ordered in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spuds therein. No delicious banana nut bread. And uh, no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. Uh. What? Oh. Oh. You destroy my...
my element of surprise! <laughs> Minded duckiness. Is that clear? solution. Now you listen here, you rutabaga rubber, you, <laughs> you horseradish highwayman! I demand my fair share of the spoils! <laughs> oh dear, not again! <laughs> ah, once more into the breach! <laughs> I must endure. Huh? Eat all day for five bucks. Oh, 
Oh, boy! Hey, what's the big idea? This seating is full. Business. <laughs> Hiya, chum. Glad to know you. Glad to hey, know you. Up? I can tell by the way you're ogling this dining emporium that you are a woodpecker who enjoys packing away the groceries. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> the answer is D. I am always right. Yeah. Oh, and uh, because you are a culinarian of the highest order. I am about to introduce to you a revolutionary new device. It will give you free chow for life. May I present, tum ta ta tum, the fabulous food box by Scamco. <gasps> it's a shipping crate. Oh, it may look like an ordinary shipping crate, but can an ordinary crate turn any object into delicious food? Okay, prove it. No problem. Ah! How's about a fresh glass of water made from, say, uh, this old nail? One fresh glass of water, old fabulous food box. Old glass of water coming up. There's probably water in that pipe. Ah, 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 ah. No sneak previewing. Wow! Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Oh, well, I'll check on your water. Yeah, quick, Twiggy. Make like a cork and plug that leak. How many boxes you want, sport? Not so fast. Let me see you turn this hubcap into a large pizza. Oh, you want your boy, you don't. One super deluxe pizza pie on the double. Oh, fabulous food box. Pizza's ready! So, you're gonna buy the box now, Woodpecker? Sure, sure. <laughs> After dessert. Hey, make me an ice cream cone from, uh, this rock. Wow! One ice cream cone, oh fabulous food box. We're recalling the rocky road, but you can have this rock. Block your crazy woodpecker. You only get inside the box after you pay. <laughs> wow! Rocky Road, my favorite. <laughs> I love this box. <laughs> and I love your dough. My very own fabulous food box. I'll never be hungry again. One grilled cheese sandwich, please. Extra greasy. Hmm, must be ready. That's the worst grilled cheese sandwich I ever had. Hey, what's the big idea? So that's it. They were scamming me with food from the buffet. The second seating is about to begin. Hey, Bob, we gotta talk. Hmm? Whoa! Hey, boss, isn't that the sucker we just suck at a lot? <laughs> but that's impossible! I uh, think we might have sold you a defecative food box there, sport. 
Oh, yeah. We might need to recall this model for ourselves and such. He a me for, uh... Retooling purposes, that is. Whoa! Uh, let me take a quick look see inside. Whoa! Boss! Oh, it's working! Food! Oh, food! Food! It's really making food, Twiggy. We gotta take this box in for some serious service and sport. It's gonna cost ya. Oh, uh, here's your 50 bucks back. You want me to give up free food for life for a lousy 50? No way! Fine, fine, take everything I got. Just give me the box. Just thinking about all that food's making me stronger, boss. It seems lighter already. We just made the find of a lifetime. Woohoo! Ten, fifteen, twenty. That should cover the food they stole from you. And here's an extra five for my ticket to the buffet. No, 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 no. This one is on the house, Woody. <laughs> I guess you'll have to settle for Wiener Wallies. <laughs> I'll never eat at Wallies. He's the guy who put the worst in Bratwurst. Yuck! <gasps> I've got it. I'll buy your cart. Okay, but you know it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Hmm. Aha! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, hmm. Plenty of room. Wow, a heated pool. I'll take it. Hmm. What's this going on here? <laughs> I've forgotten more about selling Wieners than that woodpecker will ever know. Oh, eh, I would like to buy a hot dog, please. Coming right up. That's one for you, and one for me. <laughs> okay, so that's just one customer. And that's one too many. Hey, mister, can I get a dog, please? That's one for you, and two for me. Zwerg, <laughs> that does it. My corner, Bootpecker! You know, I get the distinct feeling someone doesn't want me around. Moo -do 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 -do. Come back soon. Yeah. Over here! Over here! I've got just one thing to say. That's my corner! Ho, ho, ho. 
that should fix that vote packer, you bet. Why for you bury me, wiener boy? Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> Want a vinivore? You got a vinivore! Woodpecker! You'll never sell hot dogs on my corner, wiener boy! This is the best hot dog mix I've ever tasted! Oh, my aching meatball. You, you woodpecker, look what you done! I get you! <laughs> boys, boys, break it up! With your new hot dog mix and my investment capital, we can make millions! Where do we sign? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm the boss. Will I like get my hands on you? You come no, here, you, you. I'm the boss, and I say no work today. Oh, boy. Woo! You little tube steak terrorist! You won't ruin my chance to make millions! Ah, go on with you! Give me your best shot! Bet you can't hit me with hot dogs! Oh, yeah! Then take that! And that! And those! And those too, you bet! <laughs> <sighs> If we're gonna be partners, you're gonna have to work faster than that, wiener boy! <laughs> Ha 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 